Hi all and welcome back to a small hit video. Today's topic is the App Store, one of the most important and essential parts of an iPad, being able to download apps and doing a lot of crazy stuff on your iPad. So this is a tips and tricks uh, help video where I'm going to talk about some uh, top troubleshooting steps and uh, how to fix issues in the App Store. First of all, if you go into your App Store, in here you will see the front page and the today section, you can click around. But the one important thing is of course that you are signed in with your Apple ID. So up here in the corner, you can tap this uh, small icon and the first part of uh, this pop-up is uh, which account that you are signed in with. So uh, click that one and you will be able to see your uh, Apple ID and things like that. Sometimes this will actually ask for your Apple ID password. So if you're not correct signed in, then uh, make sure that you are signed in with your uh, Apple ID and password. So that's the first thing to do when you are having a issue with your Apple ID and App Store. Next thing, of course, is also one of my uh, recommendations is to restart your device. Sometimes your iPad can get in a mode or a stage where it is not really working as expected. And often a restart of your iPad will actually solve the problem. So I will uh, just show you here that uh, please turn off your device and restart it again and go into your app store and see if the problem is actually solved. So uh, this is a very important uh, debug step or troubleshooting step that is also recommended just as a normal procedure to restart your device. Next thing up is uh, to have a look at your iPad storage. So go into your settings, go into general, and go into iPad storage. In here, you can see how much storage have you used and how much is still available. So make sure always to have five to 10 gigabytes of free space on your iPad, and at least five, I would say, just to make sure that you can actually update your current apps that you have installed on your iPad, but also so you still have uh, space available for new apps you want to install. So that's a very essential part. Make sure to free up space if you don't have five gigabytes of free space. Another thing that is also a good uh, troubleshooting step regarding the App Store is to have a look at the date and time. You find that under the general section and down here you have the time and date. And uh, for most, it is set to automatically set the time and date. Try to toggle this to off, wait a few seconds and turn it on again. And why are you thinking that this could be a good step? Yeah, well, it's sometimes related to the time and uh, especially the date, uh, how you can install and which version of an app and things like that. So. This has been shown uh, and has been proven that it can actually solve uh, App Store problems. Another thing is, of course, to make sure that you are connected. If you are not seeing the front page of the App Store and you think, well, this is a total mess and it's not really working at all, you don't see any uh, pictures or icons or any apps you have in here, it's also a good idea to have a look at your network settings. So go into settings, go into your Wi-Fi and make sure that you are connected. If you know that you have trouble uh, with your network, try to toggle uh, the Wi-Fi to off and then on. If this still not work, then try the airplane mode you have over here. Just put it into airplane mode wait for a few seconds and put that off again and your Wi-Fi will be up and running. If this is still not working and you still uh, 
have issues with your network, well, then I would recommend you to have a look at the reset ex uh, area because in here we have reset network settings and you can put in your passcode and you will reset all your network settings. And then after this, you will need to connect to your Wi-Fi and see if it's still working. Also have a look at your router at home. Maybe the router needs a restart. I have seen a lot of issues with routers uh, at uh, customers' places, and uh, it's often just the router that needs to be restarted, so the whole network in your house is restarted, and that can actually solve a lot of issues with network-related problems. So have a look at that as well, but uh, also do a reset of your network settings. That often also helps a lot. So next thing up is also to have a look at the app store. In here, you can see the front page and uh, one of the tr troubleshooting steps that uh, some expert also recommends you to do is actually to tap one of these sections at the bottom for 10 times. I have seen it work once or two times, uh, but it's not uh, that uh, common a thing. What it should do is to clear the cache of the app store. So, for example, if I go to games, I go over to today, I tap today for 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You close down the app store and go back and find your app store and go in again and see if it's actually loading. This should uh, clear the App Store uh, cache and uh, sometimes that can actually help. What I would then recommend you to do is to tap this login or the profiles uh, section again and make sure that you are actually logged in uh, to your App Store as expected. One last thing I would also uh, recommend you to do if you still are seeing issues either with your profile in the App Store or things like that. Then in your uh, settings area up at the top, you have also signed in with your Apple ID. And one thing you have at the bottom here is uh, sign out. So I would actually recommend you to sign out and sign in just to make sure that you are signed in as the uh, Apple ID you uh, would expect to be signed in as. Maybe somebody else signed into your iPad or whatever, uh, your kids have messed it up or whatever. Then uh, please make a sign out, sign in and see if you are then able, able to go into your app store and do the updates or find the app you would really like to install. So uh, these are the steps that I had with me today for the app store hope that it would uh, help you figure out your problem and solve it if you have any questions put it in the comments section if you like my video and it helped uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that talk to you soon bye